everyone and welcome back to my 24 week pregnancy vlog. You guys can see in the back. Max, hey, stop, stop biting your tail. <laughs> I have a visitor with me for this vlog. This is my Bijan Max who has decided that he wants to be part of the video and hopefully he'll just settle back down and go back to sleep. Good boy. If this is your first time coming across my channel, my name is Laura. I make everything from mommy to lifestyle and kind of vlog style videos. So if that is something that you might be interested in, <laughs> don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and turn on your notifications for this channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. To kick off this 24th week of pregnancy, we had my 20 week anomaly scan, which was at 23 weeks and three days pregnant. Everything looked great with baby they weren't concerned about anything baby is measuring a small bit small but it's something that's completely still within their parameters of being normal they may just be a slightly smaller baby which is totally fine but the big thing that did show up in my uh, 20 week scan or my anomaly scan was actually my placenta basically they have kind of said that my placenta is posterior and low-lying which basically means it's attached to the back wall of my uterus so towards my back and it's lying quite low near my cervix right now that's not a major concern but they're going to review me at 32 weeks to see how my placenta has is behaving basically and hope that my placenta has risen as my uterus has grown um, the problem with having a low-lying placenta is it can develop into something called placenta previa um, which basically can basically is where the placenta is blocking the cervix and it makes a vaginal delivery completely unsafe and basically the baby has no way out because the placenta is blocking it and it can pose risks for something like an antipartum hemorrhage and things like that but right now it's not something that I'm super concerned about myself um, I am obviously going to be more cautious and be more vigilant I have had tiny bit of spotting this week but again it's nothing that has majorly concerned me for those of you guys who don't know I actually have done uh, over two years of midwifery training myself um, so I know what is and isn't normal obviously I'm no professional but I am going by my advice from my doctors and my midwives but uh, they're not concerned yet I'm not really concerned yet I am going to mention the spotting to my GP when I do see him next but because my placenta is more low-lying that is more normal um that is and anyway some spotting in pregnancy is still completely normal so i'm not that overly concerned apart from that baby is doing absolutely great we do know the gender but we are keeping it secret for another little while before we reveal it to everybody um but we are super happy uh baby's super happy and we actually this week started on baby's nursery so we started painting up baby's nursery we are going to bring you guys along on that journey i have started like vlogging it for you guys so it's super exciting to finally know what he or she is and to know what kind of color schemes we want to go for and what we want to do um this week when i had my scan baby was actually breech so baby's legs were coming out first and that's totally normal at like 23 24 weeks it's totally normal but my baby is a regular made the scan completely difficult because he or she would not stay still for long enough to actually get proper measurements it was very hard but I already knew that was going to be the case because day to day I'm feeling this baby flip from being breech to being transverse so basically being legs first to being lying across my abdomen like that um which is still normal at this stage because he or she has loads of room in there so is getting in as much activity as possible. This week I felt a little bit better in the whole hyperemesis department but I'm still not feeling fabulous. Um, I've had a few better days but I also have had a few absolutely rubbish days and just overall I feel like I've kind of overdone it a little bit and I'm yawning non-stop. So one thing that I have noticed actually a lot more this week is heartburn and um, I think that is because baby is flipping from being breached to transverse and sometimes it's kind of lying more like oblique oblique so uh, basically I feel like he or she's putting more pressure on my on my actual stomach um, and kind of causing more acid to push back up and give me that heartburn but again that's completely normal I've just been watching what I've been eating and trying not to eat any foods that are triggering it that much um, and just whenever I've needed it I've taken some Gaviscon and it's usually kind of helped it and it's kind of gone away on its own. 
sleeping is also getting more difficult like because breathing when I lie on my back is just like that's difficult that's very difficult for those of you guys who have been pregnant before you guys can feel what I'm talking about but um yeah sleeping I've definitely had to sleep on one side or the other and it's getting more difficult to actually move over to the other side I feel like a little whale <laughs> but yeah apart from that everything is going fantastically for this pregnancy and I'm yeah I'm, I'm excited like time is going so quickly I think there's only about 16 weeks left until the baby is here with us is scary so I'm gonna enjoy it's a great scary though I'm gonna enjoy every moment that I have right now with feeling this baby moving and just enjoying this pregnancy despite still being sick and having whatever is going on in this pregnancy going on um I'm still just trying to find the the good in the whole pregnancy and just trying to enjoy baby as much as possible before he or she arrives with us but that is everything for my 24 week pregnancy vlog if you guys are watching this video because you are 24 weeks pregnant comment below and let me know if you're experiencing any similar symptoms to what i'm feeling and make me feel a little bit more normal and let me know how you're feeling at this point in the pregnancy and uh, that would be really interesting to know so thank you so much for tuning into this video if you haven't already please subscribe and follow me over on my instagram for more and for loads more belly shots and we will see you guys in my next video Bye.